Hi, I'm Rob from Hobzine.com. Thanks for joining me for another video beer review. This time we're looking at, at a bottle of Chicory Stout from the Dogfish Head Craft Brewery in Milton, Delaware. 5.2% ABV. It is, as it says on the front of the bottle, uh, it is a rich dag brewed smoothed, uh, brewed smoothed out with a touch of roasted chicory and organic um, Mexican coffee goodness beneath a bone of white head. So, um, from what I can make out, I think chicory is kind of like a brew, it's sort of like a wildflower, which has uh, been used for, um, as in like a coffee substitute, kind of in, in, in many years gone by. I mean, other people talk about chicory as like a, a wood thing, and obviously um, chicory is also kind of like a curly, kind of on eve kind of thing, but this is, I'm presuming it's the kind of wildflower, which is a bit kind of coffee-like. We've got... The bottles open here. I'm, re I'm really missing Dogfish Shed in this country. We used to get um, their basic range, the 60 minute, 90 minute India Brown Ale, which I absolutely love. Um, Palo Santo Moron, uh, and what else was there? Another one, uh, the India, India Brown Ale, Cork. Oh, yeah, Raison Detra. We had that in the past, but then Dogfish Shed pulled out to the detriment of um, UK craft uh, beer drinkers. So. My friend was in the US recently and she brought me back a box of beer and this was one of the beers in the box. I've, won, I've been, just been missing Dogfish Head and I've never had this, I always sound like the sound of this. This is one of the, the earlier brews that they ever produced. Beer in the glass, pretty much black, but I am getting hints of really, really dark ruby around the edges. It doesn't look like the thickest kind of viscous stout. It looks relatively kind of watery in the glass. I mean, it's only 5.2, it's not oatmeal stout, anything like that. So, I'm sure it's going to taste wonderful. So, let's have a sniff. Oh, oh, interesting. Whew. That was really interesting. First off, you get like a, that, on that brief kind of first sniff, you get a, a nice kind of smooth, milk, uh, milky coffee. Then it becomes a bit more kind of like, a bit fizzing in your nostrils. Like with a really intense roasted malt, and maybe like a, a, a like a beef extract as well, like what you might make gravy out of. There's a fizz of kind of hops, which kind of bring a there's like a gassiness to it that in the middle where you might think there's hops in it. There's beefy. It must be that chicory. There's a smokiness. There's a brown bread element in there but yeah then, then this quite nice coffee like a real like proper like cacao nibs actually thinking back i brewed a stout a while back with cacao nibs and it has it had that there's a smoothness to it now when you get that chocolate it's quite smooth then but sometimes there's stinging kind of acidity in the nostrils anyway i'm really looking forward to this dogfish head it's been far too long anyway cheers It's not that thin. Actually, yeah, it is. It's quite thin. Hmm. First impressions. Bit thin. Bit colery. Hmm. Yeah, maybe a bit watery. That's first impressions. Anyway, let's head back in. Yeah, there's a bit of a, maybe slightly high in carbonation. Slightly dull, sloppy, like quite a, well, roasted malts obviously, but uh, like a charred beef kind of thing going on. Like a really weak coffee, weak black coffee, watery. Quite a bit earthy. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, there's no wrong with it, but you mean, I find a lot of stouts around here, which aren't they are not proclaiming. Them. I might be jumping and climbing the curtains in a minute with all the coffee, or might be in this beer, but at the moment, you won't be able to see this on the side. There's a pizza. There's a picture of a kind of a pine, a pine pot, and it just says OK underneath it. 
this is what this is. I mean, um, I just I've had a lot. I could go to a decent pub in this area, get a get a beer from like one of one of my local breweries in Bradford, Salamander. I could get a beer as good as that. And I don't like salamander beer. I think it's poor on mostly. It's not delivering. It's not enough body for a stout. It's not as kind of interesting as most porters. It's got that kind of blackberry thing going on. Bit of a wet lettuce, that. Yeah, well. You can't say I, I only review good beers on, on Hobzine. Because this is just... I mean, there's nothing wrong with it. But, I mean, if you had a, you had like a local northern breweries, you know, with a 500 milliliter bottle with a camera logo on it and just it's called Black Cold Stout or something <laughs> mediocre like that. But this is from Dogfish. Yeah, they're like groundbreaking, kind of exciting, maverick brewery. And this is like, got it's got Mexican coffee and chicory in it. And it's like, oh, that's going to be really interesting, really different. And it's just a bit sloppy and insipid and... <sighs> that's it, it's like a wet fart. <sighs> anyway, if I have to end this video. <laughs> Dogfish Head, Craft Brewery. 5.2%, Chicory Stout. I've got a bottle of Saison, uh, Saison de Buff, downstairs. A bit that I'm very fond of. That was the other Dogfish Head I requested on um, the trip away. God, I wish I'd have asked for that and splashed out on that bottle of um, 75 minute IPA because this is a ripe turkey. Anyway, I'm Rob from Hopzine.com. Disappointed. Dogfish head. I know a lot of people give them a load of stick, but I mean, you bring beer like this, which is just meh. See you later.